Let's get ready to work on our proficient reading and writing skills. Today we'll be digging into our decodable book and engagement text. This is Module 1, Cycle 4, Lesson 17. Materials! You'll need your thinking cap again today. Here's our list of learning targets for today. The first one says, I can retell the events from the current edition of the Sunnyside Gazette. Fire Chief Spark rescues neighborhood alley cat from city tree. The second learning target states, I can read high frequency words and words that don't play fair. Boy, only, open, once, tree. Those are some of the words we'll practice together using our snap and trap chart. And our final learning target says, I can read the decodable text, Stuck Up High. That's the name of the story we'll work on today. Transition song. Gather round together, together, together. It's time to hear a story, a story, a story. It's time to hear a story and say what we've learned. Read aloud. Now we'll spend a moment listening to the engagement text. Sunnyside Gazette, Sunnyside Fire Chief Sparks rescues neighborhood alley cat from city tree. Make sure you're focused in as I read aloud so that you're able to answer questions afterwards to show that you've understood what happened in the article. Today's edition is by Walt Wordsmith. A cat was found stuck at the top of a tree in Sunnyside City Park yesterday morning. The tree, located at the east end, is the tallest in the park. Two neighborhood children alerted the Sunnyside Fire Department. Chief Sparks responded to the scene. Chief Sparks first tried to lure the cat down with treats. According to the children, the cat named Chip seemed quite frightened to climb down. The chief brought out more supplies. Next, she called his name with a bullhorn. He remained in the tree. She was finally able to rescue the cat using an aerial ladder and a platform. The children cheered as Chief Sparks and the cat were lowered back to the ground. All in a day's work, said the chief. Question and answer. Let's talk about what I just read. What happened yesterday morning in Sunnyside City Park? That's right, a cat was found stuck high up in a tree and Chief Sparks came and rescued him. The article says that Chief Sparks first tried to lure the cat down with treats. What does the word lure mean? Yes, to try to encourage the cat to come down. At the end of the article, it says, all in a day's work. What do you think Chief Sparks meant when she said that? I think you're right. As a fire chief, she probably does lots of different things aside from putting fires out. Great listening and answering questions. Word work. Here we have our snap and trap chart again, just like our learning target told us we would. As we dig into our words, we'll have to remember what snap and trap mean. A snap word, means we're able to decode it because it's using the spelling patterns correctly. A trap word means it's doing something a little unusual. Maybe it's using some spelling patterns that don't match the sound that the word makes. Let's take a look at our words. 
Here's our first word, once. Do you think that's a snap or a trap? You've got it. That's definitely a trap word. It sounds like there might be a W at the beginning when we say once, but I don't see any W in that word. That's tricky. Here's our next word. It says only snap or trap. Again, we have a trap word. When I say only, I hear a long O sound. But that is a closed syllable. The N should be closing it in to make a short vowel sound. That is a trap. Here's our next word, open. What do you think about the word open, snap? or trap. I think you're right. This seems like a snap word. We hear the long O sound, open, as its first syllable because that's an open syllable. And in our second syllable, pen, we can hear that short E sound because it's a closed syllable, open. It makes all the right sounds based on its syllable types. Great work. Here's the next word. It says tree. What do you think about the word tree? Is it a snap or a trap? That seems right to me. It's a snap word. We can hear the tr blend at the beginning and our two E's as the vowel team making our long E sound. Tree. Great work. Fluency. We're almost ready to read our decodable book stuck up high. Before we read, we need to be detectives so that we're prepared to read some trap words that might make us stuck as we're trying to focus on fluency. Let's preview this page together to see what words we can prepare for. First, I notice the word does. Say it. Next is the word high. Say it. Next, I see the word tonight. Say it. Then we have that word only, say it. Next is the word might, say it. Then we have the word stars, say it. Then we have the word seen, say it. Next is the word easy, say it. Then we have the word once, say it. And finally, we have the word tree. Say it. Nice work. Some of these words we just saw in our snap and trap chart. Some of the words use this cycle spelling patterns. And some words might just be unfamiliar to us. I hope this preview helps you as you read the decodable book after we close out our lesson together. Closing Reflection. How did you take responsibility for your learning today? Which of our high frequency words were not tricky for you to read? Which high frequency words were tricky for you to read? You did a great job reading. Keep it up. No matter what was challenging for you today, I know if you keep working hard, you'll make progress. I can't wait to work with you again in our next lesson. See you next time.